vitamin C is at the heart of a global issue. It's the way people are cured globally. We discovered that vitamin C kills tuberculosis. When Catherine Vilchez, the lead author on this paper, first showed me this result, I, I was in disbelief. I, it, how could this be that vitamin C could kill tuberculosis? We will investigate the surprising discoveries that could in the long term modify our global approach to medicine. Now this is a story of a man, a dairy farmer, who came back from the dead. Doctors were all set to turn off his life support, but his family refused to give up. They demanded the hospital try high doses of vitamin C. The specialists didn't believe such a treatment would work, but, well, suffice to say, the farmer is no longer on death's door, and his family claim he's living proof. In Japan, following the Fukushima catastrophe, Professor Atsuo Yanagisawa successfully treated Japanese soldiers using the same method. On February 9, 2014, the BBC published an article about an American team of scientists who obtained surprising results in cases of cancer by massive intravenous injections of vitamin C. Because vitamin C by vein can do almost miracles compared to regular chemotherapy and other drugs for cancer. It's almost too good to be true, but it is. Vitamin C will kill the cancer cells while making the normal cells healthy. How can a natural molecule be successful when the most sophisticated and expensive antibiotics fail? There has been a worldwide interest in the research that's been done here at the Reardon Clinic because we have the largest database on vitamin C for sure. We have developed the protocol and we have done probably 100,000 or more IV vitamin C infusions. We have a huge database from our laboratory analysis of probably 20,000 people over the last 38 years of our existence. Why isn't the research pushed further and the results obtained from vitamin C made public? It's a very incredible antioxidant uh, capability. But at the NIH, a number of researchers led by the head of research of the NIH, and his name is Mark Levin, he's published six or seven papers on the fact that we need to review the whole principle of vitamin C and how it works. This documentary exposes tangible facts backed by eminent specialists on the matter. We will talk about their research, the discoveries that they consider critical, and the experiments that have remained undisclosed.